As people live longer, there is growing pressure to develop a drug or vaccine that stops dementia. Health and Human Service Secretary Kathleen Sebelius says setting priorities and coordinating research now will save time later. We've made the first historic investment of funds and a 15-year commitment to prevention and treatment. In the past, the disease could be diagnosed only by doing an autopsy after the patient died. Alzheimer's researcher Ronald Peterson says new methods now can provide evidence while the patient is still alive. We use biomarkers, so various imaging tests, blood tests, spinal fluid tests that are going to tell us that these are in fact indicators of what the disease is going to be. In these images provided by the Banner Alzheimer's Institute in Phoenix, Arizona, you can see the progression of the disease. Inside the brain of an aging patient, the dark areas are formed by plaques made up of the amyloid protein and tangles composed of another protein called tau. The result is a loss of brain cells and neurons responsible for memory and learning. During a national summit last month on Alzheimer's research, two promising clinical trials generated a lot of interest. Name all the fruits that you can... In this trial, patients already showing signs of Alzheimer's are given nasal syringes of insulin that that push the drug into the neurons of the brain. Dr. Suzanne Kraft is in charge of the study. Nearly three quarters of our participants showed improvement in memory over the four month period, a 50% improvement. But another study may promise earlier treatment to actually prevent the disease. Two years ago, New York Times reporter Pam Bellock and a photographer traveled to Columbia to visit an extended family afflicted by early onset Alzheimer's. Approximately one-third carry a genetic mutation that brings on the disease while they are in their 30s and 40s. Belloc says the healthier, older generation often cares for younger victims. Belloc spoke with VOA via Skype. They may be bedridden, they need to be fed, um, they may need to be diapered, um, they're often um, agitated, it just takes a tremendous amount of out of a person to to care for somebody with this. Early next year, a team of American scientists and Colombian doctors will begin a five-year clinical trial of more than 3,000 members of the family. Not all of the patients carry the genetic marker, and some will get a placebo. The head of the American team, Dr. Eric Ryman, says the immunization drug being tested is designed to clear the amyloid quickly from the brain. And if we intervene sufficiently early before the disease has ravaged the brain, we think these treatments might have their best shot of having a profound benefit. Pam Bellock says the Colombian family members are anxious for something or someone to help them. Facing a grim future, many say they are willing to step forward if it will help them and future generations. Melinda Smith, VOA News.